Welcome back to surviving Ark Primal Chaos with like 50 other mods from the comfort of our beautiful boathouse, which I am falling in love with more and more every episode. It's been like a week since the last episode. I, I get on this series for like 45 minutes every night and just tweak and add more stuff to my... At this point, if anything ever happens to this boat, you will see grown man tears on this channel. You will witness a grown man cry. A grown man with face scars and knuckle tattoos bawling like a child. I am loving this Scorched Earth stuff. I haven't actually played Scorched Earth, but I've added a couch to... Which, by the way, this this is where we take the, the leap from like luxurious boat life to shanty. We've become absolute white trash once we incorporate an old leather tra couch onto our raft, but whatever. I never met my dad, but from what I hear, he was a pretty big redneck. So I think this is just in my DNA. At some point, I'm going to end up a trashy human, but that's fine. We don't have any charcoal in this thing yet. Yeah, this thing's pretty freaking empty as well, too. But like once there's gasoline in the gas jam, you know what I'm saying? The point is we have the skeletal structure of a beautiful house coming together. And empty alcoholic beer bottles all over the place. I can't remember if I tamed that on camera or not, but it's a simple terrain and it really doesn't require anything. Also, I did really accept that you guys, you guys did make a good point. It was, we were basically living in a jail cell. Check this out. Now it's so much more beautiful. And look, we're an alcoholic. It's fantastic. I haven't really changed anything else around here as of yet. It's pretty good storage system going on here, but nothing on it yet just now. Oh yeah, I didn't change anything there. But this is pretty, oh, this is where we started the video. You dumb idiot. I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun with these customizations from Scorched Earth. I can't wait to have more fun with it. But this isn't even the point of the survival series. It's just important that we that we love our base. Like an angler gel bucket right near the base on a boat. It feels so fitting and beautiful. So leave a like on the video if you would live on this raft in real life. I, I feel like you're, you're just tripping if you wouldn't. Also, we did like actually manage to get some vegetation going on the roof. There's better ways to do this, but I'm really trying to push it as far as we can, living on the boat. What else is I doing? Oh yeah, okay, okay. An important aspect I probably should have mentioned. Oh my god, balls worth- Oh, it's at the top. We do have two beta kibble and two alpha kibble. We just needed some carrots to make the beta kibble from last episode. And then when I was customizing my boat yesterday, I stupidly saw there was just like beta eggs on shit. There's another beta egg right there. Yes, I was- I felt like a real idiot for just like not- <laughs> It was like they were not on the beach before, man. Like, I know they're supposed to just, like, spawn in regular arc freely, but they were not spawning here, but now they are, so it's pretty cool. Now, the issue is I don't want to bring my damn boat any closer to shore. I'm just not. At this point, there's no, we're not putting it at, at risk. There's, if this is no longer a simple wrap. Like, if this, if this boat dies, I'm going to be so sad. Okay, I'll bring an alpha kibble with me, but I'm not happy about it. I don't know why I wouldn't be happy about it. Just not happy. You never know. Also, if you notice, we put our dodos in the little cage down there for, I don't know, I've played too much Minecraft freaking growing up. I think we need to keep chickens for sustenance when we need it. Okay, welcome back to my ARC series. For you guys, you didn't go anywhere, so this just seems stupid, but I just recorded for about an hour and a half, and then my computer ran out of space and corrupted the video file, so I kind of just lost like an hour of gameplay. On the downside, you did miss a couple things. On the upside, they were basically stupid, pointless things. Like, we just, because we, there's so much grinding to do at the beginning of a series that it's just kind of boring for the most part. I talked for maybe five minutes of the hour, but still, you missed out on a few things, so pay attention, and then let's get into some crazy stuff. For one, I'm sexy. Oh, I might have been sexy before. I don't I don't actually remember what we were doing before. For two, we have Gringo now. I tamed an alpha pteranodon with uh, those those beta eggs we were finding. I made alpha kibble and, and tamed this guy. He's named Gringo because he's white as all hell. Whenever I go to Costa Rica, everyone calls me Gringo, so I don't know. It just, it just sounded right. Yeah, I think it's like an insult, but I don't know, man. It's a, I consider it a term of endearment. I showed you guys my couch. I talked about this. I know that. <laughs> I'd obviously mention the couch. Oh, okay. We tamed this alpha dodo as well because we had enough. I think we have enough kibble for a third. Oh, I had to move the boat. Oh, we tamed a trike. Okay, I'm remembering now. I'm remembering. I made this big ramp to try and get a, a trike onto the boat that we tamed because we do need something to gather berries. We're going to need just generally that kind of stuff, but it wasn't working. So I had to make somewhere else. We still have an alpha kibble, three beta kibbles, some more eggs. I started almost building a base over here, and then I realized that it's just stupid. And then I started... I didn't do anything over here. I'm, <laughs> I'm just remembering what I did. Eventually, I accepted we do have to expand somewhere on land. We're not just going to be able to live on a boat anymore if we want to actually advance in this series. See, there's some crazy mods on the way. And not just my Godzilla Minus One mod, but... 
There's other stuff coming to arc and there's there's I don't even have Zilla yet We have to get farther in this series So this is where I expanded onto the land which is I like it because eventually we could just have like zip lines and railroad tracks Damn it going back and forth. I went in a before landing here I went and looked at this island to see if this was suitable and it's still completely under development Like there's no it once you get there. This doesn't load in that is actually what the mountain looks like but once that part of the map is but oh god, autism. But once that part of the map is done and beautiful, we may just build a train track to go all the way there. I don't know. But for now, this little place will suffice. So I did take these two Brontos. One of them is not loading in. That's fantastic. This actually happens a weird amount. I just re-log and <laughs> then it's there. Luckily, it's super quick re-logging. I believe the expression is quicker than a lesbian's foot race. All right, sweet. And now we're back. Also, this kind of keeps happening too. Like the textures on my stuff, like the logs on this crane, now they're loading in, but I get a lot of rainbow texture. This is why all my survival series crash and burn. I tamed these two because we needed giant eggs for exceptional kibble because I added a few creature mods to this that basically require, why did I do that? I just brain farted so bad. That basically require uh, exceptional kibble, but they're not having any more sex. It's a loveless marriage. They had one egg and I just need to learn what's up with these because I s Oh, you know what it is because it's not a server when I log off time doesn't keep passing So it's still Like that. All right. Well, damn it. I guess we need more like, I'm breeding is firmed up fairly high on the server, but I don't want it just ridiculously high or everything stupid You know, I guess just have another kid when you're ready you dumb bastards. This was the trank we tamed Riddler Nothing really special about it. It's a, it's a beta Riddler. It, it's a woman, but it was still. I feel like Riddler could be a man or a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a, he's a pretty feminine dude, and it's got like glowing green eyes. So I don't know. Look how look how beautiful that looks. Riddler's got those skinny legs and those tight pants. They could easy. Riddler could easily be a sexy redheaded woman in another universe or something. You know what I mean? I feel like half the time he's already almost a sexy redheaded woman. So I see no issue with this. We did have that terminal before. I don't know where the hell I put it. But the terminal was a primitive thing of the past. Instead, I found this awesome SCS cryopod mod, which you can craft right in base like a terminal to store them in. Though I'm not doing that because there's no need. It's just like these guys. Like, why, why put them away? But it's a pretty freaking sweet mod. You just, you know, standard old poopies. Oh, literally poopies. See? Now the crane's all rainbow again. It happens all the time. Also, all the alpha pteranodons look like this. They look like a bunch of red, beady-eyed rats, but... Gringo's special. This crap is so cool though. This one holds flints. This one holds crystal. This one holds wood. We got no wood. This one holds fiber. They're, the textures are still loading in. Again, just like, <laughs> it's fine. This one holds thatch. This one holds rock. This one holds metal. And this one holds obsidian. As you can see, we have no obsidian. That's just a really cool mod. I think the last thing to catch you guys up in is these alpha tools. As you can see, it was not a very eventful time. Like this, no matter what, I was going to have to keep recording. I can't end the video until something like content worthy happens, you know? It, it takes a lot longer to get to that point. And it, even the rocks aren't loading in totally. That's crazy. Oh, now, oh, they're pulling tricksy on me. When you zoom in, they're loaded, but still. Like, I've never seen Ark do this before. I hope everything's fine. I'm just showcasing like what this crane does, dude. It's because we have a crane on the boat, but we just use it for looks right now for aesthetic. But once you actually use it, you just go up and hit deposit and it puts everything in the respected places. It's freaking awesome. I don't want to leave it alone because if they start or like if, uh, if the baby, if the egg falls out and hatches quickly, I don't know how eggs are managed on the server. Like it might die quick or it might hatch or something. I have no freaking idea. Yeah, the egg we did have already turned into an exceptional kibble, which is... Oh, that's what my plan was. <laughs> also, for anyone wondering, our little robot guy who is from Horizon Zero Dawn, but I was really tired when I posted that video and I titled it Generation Zero and everyone was calling me an idiot. Rightfully so, I was really stupid. I was trying to explain. I was really tired when I uploaded it and Generation Zero had just hit like their five year anniversary and I got a Steam ad for it. And that's why I had Generation Zero on my mind. That's what's crazy is like, yeah, these guys, we lost ours and now they're more difficult to tame. So I think the mod dev like cleared people's tamed ones. That's why we can't build on, on freaking beaches though. Because Dilos spawn on beaches and demonic Dilos exist. 1.5 million health. I thought you were sketchy. The shadow turkeys are now the weedies of the beach. That's crazy though. Thank God we don't, 
Actually, that was a really good place to get eggs over there. This is disappointing. Okay, time to finally get into my second goal in today's video. Okay, so we have an exceptional kibble. We have some mutton and we have some raw prime meat. I think that was the other one. This paleo mod has added some of the most realistic dinosaurs I've ever seen. The downside, also we do need to go explore just adventure now that we finally have a flyer. I didn't really adventure on beyond this point. Never mind, I forgot food. Damn it. <laughs> this kind of stuff happens so often, I don't even get concerned anymore. Like I come back in my, like it's, it's this, this server is hanging on by a, by, by a thread, bro. Like it's not, <laughs> it's not doing well. <laughs> but when I load back in, then the boat's there. I think we have too many mods or ascendants. Just th this is why all my survival series end after a week. And see, now the boat's here. This happens almost every time. Well, not every time, but it's happened like enough times for me to be more than comfortable with it. Also, why the ramp in front of the boat is coming in a lot of handy. And then we just call the birds on over to the ramp. Come on over, little fellas. You gotta be careful. If they launch behind the boat, you gotta do it all over again. Then back in their cage. <laughs> I love this though. I love just being a cowboy, just rounding up my ducks and putting them in their duck cage, you know? Like, total piracy boat. I don't know. I think deep down I just want to play Sea of Thieves. Alright, get my shotgun because it fits in with the cowboy suit so much. Although I feel more like a little kid dressed like a cowboy than a cowboy. Oh, but the mountain up here and the forest over there. And I guess that's really all I saw. Oh, I kind of saw the redwoods a little bit. I haven't ventured farther than that though. Look at these T-Rexes. This one's just level 10. But I was watching Rebecca's video on how to tame them right before this. As I was eating a delicious pizza, piece of pizza. Um, Rebecca, Dark Edge TV from like for my spore people out there. She's awesome. But her video depends. It's like a whole complicated process. You gotta like get a wedding ring and propose and freaking meet their parents. Well, not literally. You don't have to do it. But you gotta like drag meat to them. And then they come up to you. But like if they, they still attack you, they have to like... it's. It looked like a pain in the ass is what it did. The food's gotta be like over a certain weight. And there's a lot of large other carnivores. Perhaps we try another part of the woods. Of the woodland areas. Well, there's a nice one. But the thing is there's two variants too. There's one that has hair. And this one doesn't. Though this still looks beautiful. It's just not the realism I'm looking for. Those animations. There's, he's about to die. Bye germs. But he's uh... He's dead. I forgot what I was saying. Everything I said is irrelevant now because he's dead. But there's a feathered one, which looks, it just sounds super realistic to me. Which is funny because the T-Rex I have tattooed on my arm is now no longer realistic. Now it's just mostly Brontos down there. Oh, because there's a T-Rex attacking him. Where's a really nice T-Rex? I'm assist. I made sure to have difficulty super high up on the server so even my Alpha Pteranodon's not like the unstoppable threat. Oh dear. Whoa, God. What the hell? That was confusing. Okay, but see, we still have to... Uh, uh. <laughs> There's... I don't even know what to do. I'm, um... Okay, so we need to kill something first. And then drag their body to him as a sacrifice. And then once he's open to that... I hate you so much, Johnny. Thank you, buddy. But when, then he's, once he's done with that, then he comes over to or we have to hold still and then... It, I think it tells you to hold still when you gotta hold still. So... Whoa, man! Let's get you a little over here more. And then... I don't know if this is gonna work today. I, someone might just have to tell me the correct... Damn it! Get him, shit! Mother of God! I was severely underestimated the, the length of that tail. That's an alpha too. He's gonna die. That's why I'm taking so much damage. Well, that sucks, butt cheeks. That's the other issue I'm concerned about. These beautiful creatures have to exist in a world of primal chaos where everything's a freaking demigod around here. Ooh, an electric griffin. You know that elemental kill was actually a lot easier to craft than I thought. I'm gonna I'm gonna get moving in this survival series. There's way too much stuff to beat to have to fart around with the beginning of a series. You know what I mean? Skip right on into the nitty gritty with just like grinding. These things are amazing too, but they're passive. But like I read up on these guys too. I read up on every creature I add to the series now because I'm gonna be like prepared. See, these woods have a lot of T-Rexes in them also. There's so many amazing new dinosaurs that are based purely on realism around here. Oh, it's 
standing up. I love that kind of stuff. There's a lot of griffins around here. Are you a jungle cat? You shall suffice perfectly. I got scared going too close. Damn, dude. I finally got, um, I finally got what I need. Where is he? Is this the same right here? I was keeping, oh God, that's not the one. Oh yeah, we're super weak now. I've been baiting these sabers for so long and getting my kills stolen from me by other stuff that there is now no more T-Rexes here. They've all been eaten and killed. Dude, this is brutal. We still have that one exceptional kibble on us. What if we could just tame this herbivore over here? I would love to get this. I just want to go home with a super realistic T-Rex. I mean, not a T-Rex, a super realistic dinosaur. I would have been happy with the T-Rex, but ultimately I just want to really advance us beautifully today. Cool creature and new cool base stuff. Okay, well, it looks like there's a few of these guys around. This one's level 40, this one's level 45. If I'm gonna go for others, oh, one over there that's level five. What a loser! See, 401 berries though is pretty pretty insane. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's kind of crazy. Makes me wanna know, but we're gonna still need to freaking. It's still gonna take forever if we just pay more female brontos because we don't have exceptional kibble for those. So it's just gonna it's a slippery slope. I'm gonna go back to base and see how long it would take with 400 berries. That's gonna take freaking forever, dude. It's gonna be impossible. Be better off with a T-Rex. I only need like one exceptional kibble. They keep dying all over the place, man. Like they're dropping like flies. Every time I see one, they die. It'll be better once we have our own big strong creatures and we can clear a place out. Damn, it's magnificent. There's no way these other creatures are gonna let me drag meat to it. It's just a hostile world. Those things will kill the crap out of me. We have this one cages mod added to this server. That's super awesome. And if we don't, I'm gonna re-add it. I guess I haven't used it yet, so I'm not sure, but I thought I added it, but even still, we'd have such a freaking issue trying to cage that guy right there with those others. I just need to get stronger, better stuff. I'm waiting for all these drops to come down. I need some better tools. Although I guess these are already better. Yeah, they're 2.5 times gather rate, so, and it only gets better if you get better stuff. So I guess, we don't need better those, but better, better other stuff. I can't even speak anymore. I've been looking for T-Rexes for so long. You magnificent creature, level 85. I want it so freaking bad. What level is this one? Level 25? Oh yeah, they do usually. Oh God, stamina. Oh shit. I forgot about stamina. I wasn't looking. I was in the zone, baby. I think that freaking galley's gonna kill that T-Rex because it's level 20. I think they are normally found in packs though, cause like they're pack creatures. Well, not pack, they are uh, mates, mate, mate creatures. They, they like the women. All right, I see an opportunity here. Let's see if this works out. This is gonna be so hard to do in a heavily modded series. If you even get like accepted by it, you know, if it even accepts your love. You, I, I think, I think. I think you just stand back with like a big old goofy smile on your face, hoping that it comes over and accepts your food. If it even kills that galley though. Oh, it's got it easy. Okay, so after he kills that, then, and apparently you don't even have to have the food that it wants. Oh crap, see, that's a bad sign. Oh, 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 wait, wait. I don't think it was the food. No, it was supposed to work like that. Wait, now it's chill? I'm confused. I feel like that was my chance. Like it didn't try it, but it went red. I feel like the awesome spyglass is making this more confusing than it needs to be. Wait, now I don't have food for him. Now that's bad. I was trying to get food for you. <laughs> Damn, he's tall. I can do this all day, big fella. That's awesome. How do I make them love me? That is the question, isn't it, ladies? The question on all of our mind. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Freaking aneurysm. Where'd that, where'd that creature just go? Damn these galleys and their big overweight asses. Where did that, where'd he get off to? I'm assuming behind that collapsed tree. Is there something following me? Child in the bushes. All right. You are still heavy enough, little fella. I bring a, he, it looks magnificent. It's the coolest looking T-Rex I've ever seen in my life. It's so beautiful. This parasite doesn't even have a will to fight back. Maybe if I get back a little farther. See, people are probably gonna say I'm supposed to have like some sort of repellent or stuff on me or at least a ghillie suit, but I'm pretty sure in Rebecca's video, you didn't need to have all that. You just bring it over. Oh shit! Here we go! Here we go! Come here, buddy! 
Come to Papa. No. 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 You big gangly bastard. Whoa. Oh, that would have been escape of the century. I need you to freaking focus up, buddy. I'm so confused on the intentions of this T-Rex. Because at one minute he's looking at us like he wants to eat the meat and be chill. And then and, and then that's a freaking volcanic death worm over there. With with that's yeah, we gotta avoid that. Don't go in that direction. Okay, at this point in life, I gotta just accept things are not going my way. We're gonna have to get one of these things in a completely controlled situation. Once we advance a little more, we'll get some big awesome cages. Oh, trees falling down! A sure good sign. Okay, this is hopeless. <laughs> Where's the damn T-Rex even, dude? I just dragged that thing so far. Barely even got anywhere. It's just a big, heavy corpse. We got too much stuff on us for this. I also don't necessarily see the T-Rex, which is concerning. Oh, I hear it. I don't like how near the death worm it is. It's in there. It's in there, isn't it? It's attacking the... Bro it's, it's dead. It's in the valley of death now. Damn, that Bronto just saved my buns right there. From this guy. All right, you shall be the sacrifice I bring to... If he lives... If he lives! I'm hoping for you, buddy. I'm hoping. Hoping and praying. He seems like he's doing good. I was going to say doing good, then he dropped dead. I give up! We need a freaking controlled environment for these things. It's too difficult. It's impossible. Like, they're just always going to start fights. It's one of those mods, you know, that just starts fights with everything. So we'll always eventually die at some point with, like, these crazy overhaul mods that do thousands of damage. This is, this dude's getting close. That's what I thought. Sucker. Today's been an incredibly productive day for me. Even though you guys have only seen a small schmidgem of it. It's, it's been quite the day. We've advanced a good amount. Although we still, I think the next thing I need to just focus. Damn crossbow. My cool exit is entirely dependent on it. Gringo, you're basically dead, buddy. I feel like it's time to get you back into base for the most part. We don't have health potions yet, but due to our large encumberment of alpha blood, we shall have it soon, which will come in handy because you kind of suck, buddy. Basically, I just need to keep my Brontos breeding until we have enough exceptional kibble to really get stuff done. It seems to be a very common theme with these newer mods. They just love exceptional kibble. I feel like it always has been, but these ones specifically just love it more. Another good day of wrangling up some bad guys. You know what I'm saying? I swear to God, the demonic notices me. We should be fine. We can't just stop getting eggs here because the neighborhood's getting a little sketchy. This is our prime supplier of eggs. I wish we had that freaking grappling attachment from Halo Infinite. That would be so amazing for this exact situation. There's another beta egg over there, but it's near that shadow elemental golem, and that's where things get stinky. If that was an alpha egg, I'd do it, but a beta, no way. Honestly, the beach is just a great place to get started because there's also so many of these Gen Zero robots all over that drop electronics and oil. I guess oil is easy to get, but the electronics part. See, this is what I hate about single player survival series is when you're not online, everyone's not living life and laying eggs and stuff. They only are doing stuff for the game or when you're active in the games. So like, Damn it, that's, that's poo poo. Okay, well, I'm gonna go spend the next like five or six hours just letting the Brontos beats uh, breed so we could get some exceptional kibble. And then there's some stuff I just like to do off camera because it's like boring and easy. Like I'll make a big greenhouse on camera at some point because that sounds beautiful. But if I'm just gonna throw down a couple of crop plots, I'd rather just do it when I'm like watching Batman and eating a sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Not everything needs to be documented. It is a damn shame we lost a lot of footage today though. I need to make sure my computer's got plenty of space next time. But leave a like, subscribe if you guys want to see the next episode where things get beautiful. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>